Hey, what's up guys? It's Anthony SoCal and we're here to talk about the five things I did to start real estate investing and this goes for all beginners. Now typically everybody wants to kind of get into it but they don't know how or what to do as a beginner and I typically tell everyone I was in the same shoes, I didn't have any experience, I wasn't an agent, I wasn't in the space, I didn't know really anyone else besides some a couple friends that were agents for the most part. And so that's where we started our search. So number one, so you begin by the most obvious. You got to search and research this thing, real estate investing and what it entails. It has many niches, different areas. You're going to read about either wholesaling, flipping houses. You're going to be searching stuff about wholesaling, buy and hold, rental apartment units, commercial, buying notes, non-performing notes, things of that nature. So search and learn a little bit about everything and see what it takes to do each kind. And then, you know, you'll start soon, you know, your own weaknesses and strengths. And so you might want to begin in one and maybe work your way from there. So start by just going on research, reading articles, listening to podcasts, things of that nature. So that way you start knowing and getting all the fundamentals down. And then just in general, just try to take it all in, research and read away. And that's basically where you're going to begin your journey. Just basic knowledge, research, fundamentals, how a typical real estate transaction works. Number two, getting out there and networking. The number one mistake real estate investors do is they isolate themselves. After they know all this knowledge and they soak it in, they don't get out there. They don't go out there into the city, go to seminars, go to meetups, your local re-ups, which is real estate investment meetups, seminars. Uh, you can go to mixers, real estate mixers. There's literally a ton of events happening nightly if you live in a metropolitan area or at least at the bare minimum weekly so always always network you don't network your business dies you don't network you're never gonna grow you're never gonna scale so the way we did it is we scale by getting out there living talking and breathing real estate right and that's how more opportunities came to us when we went out there and told people what kind of niche we were in and things of that sort. So very valuable lesson here is to never isolate yourself and always be out there networking. Number three, stay consistent. The number one weakness that I saw right away with myself and I caught it and then I fixed it right away was not being consistent. I would say probably half of the week I would do all my tasks the other half, I would say to myself, I'm busy with work, I have a social life, I'm young, whatnot. If you stay consistent, you're gonna start seeing results. That's just the name of the game, it's a numbers game. The more consistent you are and doing your tasks and habits, planning out your day, planning out your week, planning out your month, planning out your quarter, you're gonna start seeing results right away. So consistency is key in this business. The more consistent you are in your marketing, the more consistent you are in your lead following, the more consistent you are in lead generation, you're going to start getting more and more real estate deals that you can analyze and then go from there. Start creating good habits, start following up, start planning ahead and tackling all your daily tasks. Prioritize your tasks, right? Least important, if you didn't get to it, that's okay, but you tackled all the ones you had to that were the most vital. Number four, assemble your team. At the bare minimum, you're gonna need at least two types of people, including yourself, to make a team of three. You're gonna need a real estate agent and a contractor and yourself, right? You analyze the deal, the agent sends out the offer. If you're not already a licensed agent, right? Sends out the offer and hopefully you get the deal and the contractor fixes it or rehabs the deal for you in construction terms. Where do you find an agent? Everyone asks me, I don't know where an agent is. They're really close. There's a lot of agents. It's rule of proximity. If you don't directly know an agent, 
guess what? Your friend is more likely to know an agent. You just go one level up and you find yourself an agent. Find a friend, family, start with them first. You tell them what your business plan is and your strategy as a real estate investor. And then they're gonna get what you mean and they're gonna know what type of properties you're looking for or what kind of deals are you looking for. Now the next question I get asked a lot is, what about the contractor? I can't find a contractor. Well, you're gonna see in the previous videos that I had that I teach some pretty good tips on how to find the right contractor. So check that out, like our page, and then we'll go from there. But one thing you're gonna have an edge over most people is that contractors love working with real estate investors. Why? Because you're not indecisive, you already know your plan. You already know your exit and you already know your timeline. Contractors don't like being stuck in projects longer than they should with indecisive clients, you know, like a typical homeowner that changes their mind 10 times before the tile looks exactly like the first color she picked since the beginning. So with that being said, have your triple trifecta team, you, your agent, and your contractor. You have those three people, you're only one step closer to getting these five things down on how to do your things right as a real estate investor for a beginner at the beginner level. Number five, now that you got the fundamentals down and you know everything there is to know about real estate investing and the different niches and areas of actual deals and how to structure them, you're gonna pick the one that you think you wanna start with first and then you work your way through there. I wouldn't suggest to do too many at once or two even. As a beginner, you pick the niche you like and then you master it and if you don't like it, then you move on to the next one. That's all I can say because now I do mostly all of them, but I did start with one. So now that you have your fundamentals down, you're ready to analyze deals. You need to start analyzing deals left and right using your fundamentals and the 70% rule. Now, in previous videos, I did talk about the 70% rule, so if you go down to our page, like our page, it's all there for you, and it's basically gonna help you to analyze the deal and see if this deal is right for you. So, you're gonna analyze deals left and right, but as a beginner, you're gonna see right away, it's gonna take you longer than most of us to analyze a deal in under three to five minutes, which we do left and right in our sleep. It's gonna take you about 20 minutes or so, but practice makes perfect. So you keep going, keep doing all those things because if repetitiveness, repetitiveness, repetitive, it works wonders. A deal comes across you, you look at it, three to five minutes, this deal's not for me. End. So the best way to do it is just keep analyzing deals. The general rule of thumb in real estate and that I've learned just based on our results is that for every 30 deals you've analyzed and sent an offer through your agent, you're gonna yield one deal. So it's a 30 to one ratio roughly, and that is true and proven here at SoCal Home. So we knew that every month each agent had a goal of five offers per week roughly and try to hit that 30 mark at the bare minimum. Now, our hotshot guys, I can do this in my sleep now, I can do 10 or 20 offers in one week. But that takes practice. I've been in the business for almost five years now. So we scaled really fast, but that's because we got, we're hungry, consistent, analyzing deals left and right, walking away from the deals that are not good for us and keep going. That's the way to scale. And that's the way to start. It's just repeating that same action over and over. All right, well, these were the five things I did to start real estate investing as a beginner. I hope that you guys got something out of this. It's very, very fundamental that you guys stay consistent, analyze deals as much as possible, get good practice, and in no time, you'll find your first deal after making a couple of offers. This is Anthony SoCal, over and out.